say hi from Charish Math. This is the question here for today. We need to find what is the height of this triangle. And for this question, it is a continuation from the work that I have done earlier in the previous movie. And now the same question that I'm going to do it here by using the method of Hiram's formula. You may check my workings for the same question that I've done previously from the link right in the description. The previous working of the same question was solely done by using trigonometric method. And now I'm continue with the Huron's formula for the same question here. And thank you so much from the suggestion and comments of my audience or subscribers. In the first step towards the Huron's formula, I'm going to do to find what is the value of the semi-parameter. And that is by using 5 plus 7 plus 8 and divide by 2. And I denote it with S as the semi-parameter. And the value that I'm going to get here is S equal to 10. Here comes by using the Huron's formula to find what is the area of this triangle. A stands for the area, S stands for the semi-parameter. And the letters A, B, and C stands for the sides of the triangle. Let's fill up the variable here, and that turns this value. So if I'm going to solve this part for the area of the triangle, I'm going to get the answer is the square root of 300. And now, by using the formula of a triangle with area as one half multiply the base and the height of the triangle. Since I got the area here as 300 and square root of this, that is equal to one half. The base that from the triangle here is eight units multiplied by the height. And the height that I'm going to get here is simply by using the square root of 300 divided by four. So the value that I'm going to get here is in fact 4.33 units. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.